Welcome to the first of the pipeline routing exercises. We will route this first pipeline in actual directions and add a few components. The dimensions of this pipeline can be found on the provided sheet drawing. To make use of the 3D space in CADmatic, we use X, Y and Z coordinates. These coordinates can be given by pressing the corresponding keys and entering the desired value. Coordinates are often defined with the use of reference planes. In this environment, x-coordinates are referenced with the use of the plane which is located at F10. The reference plane for y-coordinates is CL. The reference plane for z-coordinates is TT. To start pipe routing, navigate to the Piping tab and press Route. Navigate the cursor to the pump's suction connection point and press Q to lock. Connect to the pump by pressing P. Select the corresponding water system for your training area and select Line 1. By pressing OK, a flange has automatically been added and we can start routing. The first point is located 1000 mm from reference plane F10. To alter the X coordinate, press X and type F10 minus 1000. Press OK and left click to accept the straight part. To choose the direction of the pipe, we use the routing direction assist. This function uses the three different planes which can be cycled by pressing this arrow. The next segment is in negative Y direction. Press the corresponding green line to lock the cursor in this direction. We can use CL to navigate to the desired position. Press Y and type CL3200. Press OK and left click to accept. We need to go back in X direction, so lock the direction using the assist function. We can change the delta distance from the previous point by pressing D. Type 600, press enter and left click to accept. Next, we are going in the Z direction. Press the arrow in the routing direction assist to change the direction plane. Lock by pressing the blue line. Press Z to enter the desired distance from Z reference plane TT. Type TT plus 1730. Press OK and left click to accept. Now we will need to add a concentric reducer in the Y direction right after an elbow. In order to create this elbow, we will lock to the Y direction and left click far enough for an elbow to form. Now press U to undo the last created pipe segment. As you can see, the straight pipe segment has disappeared while the elbow is still in place. To add the reducer, right click and select Add Component. Select Reducers, Concentric Reducers and set the size to 150, 100. Press OK to accept. The last straight pipe segment is in the same direction and can be referenced from CL. Press Y and type CL plus 3000. Press OK and left click to accept. We want to add a flange to the end of the pipe. Right click and select Add Component. Select Flanges. Because this flange is included in the dimensions of the pipe, we select Shorten Run. Press OK to accept the flange. Press Enter to accept the pipeline. Next, we need to add a blind flange to the end of this pipe. Start the command Pipe Routing again. Press Q to lock to the connection point. 
Instead of using P, we will now press J to connect while maintaining the same system and specifications. We can see that a normal flange has automatically been formed. We need a blind flange, so press U to undo the normal flange. Right click and select Add Components. Select the End Parts class, which contains the blind flange. Press OK, followed by Enter, to accept the component. To finish this first pipeline, we need to add a butterfly valve. Under the Piping tab, in the Standard Components section, select the Insert command. From the drop-down menu, select Valve. The dimension is measured from the turning point. Move the cursor near this geometry point and press W to lock on. The center point of the valve needs to be 430 mm below this point. Press Z and add minus 430 to the coordinate. Press OK. Right click and select Insert into Line. The correct part should be highlighted. Press Enter and select the right valve. Manual valves and butterfly valve with hand lever. Press OK. Next, we have to choose the right orientation of the valve. Pressing No cycles through the available orientations. Pressing Yes accepts the orientation. We can rotate the lever by pressing angles in this rotation wheel. Select positive 90 and press close. The final step is to add a position ID and operation temperature. Type V112 for the ID and 60 for the temperature. Press OK to finalize the creation of the valve. The first pipeline is now finished. Please continue to the next exercise.